all had one of those moments. Um, and they are annoying. They make you want to die. Just die. But they happen. And the reason they happen is because hard drives, mechanical hard drives, are slow. They are superbly slow compared to an SSD. And that is where the Silicon Power S55 comes in. It, um, I purchased mine just to see if um, it was good or okay for only 30 bucks because it was a lightning deal on Amazon. But normally I think they're about 45 I'll have a link down below that you can click on. Um, and I just didn't know if it was a good SSD. And so I didn't want to spend a lot on a TLC NAND um, SSD because TLC... Um, NANs uh, only last uh, like a year or two, whereas MLC can last multiple years, and that's for uh, it, MLC basically uses a 3D NAND stack instead of a, uh, a single layer, and just the way that works, um, MLCs last longer because of how mechanics, anyways. Um, the Silicon Power S55 um, is a very low price entry level SSD and a lot of people the reason they don't get an SSD is because the entry price compared to a hard drive is a lot more and I mean a lot more a 120 hard drive versus a 120 SSD there's no comparison for price you can get a 2 terabyte hard drive for the same price as basically a 120 gigabyte SSD so people tend to lean towards hard drives because they want more storage but you could still get SSD performance and still have two terabytes. So what you do is you buy the two terabyte hard drive and then you use your SSD as a boot drive. And what that means is you, your SSD um, contains your OS and your main uh, software that you use frequently and need uh, heavy speed on. So like Adobe Premiere or any of the Adobe Creative Cloud um, even Google Chrome, because it's such a resource-intensive uh, program, you can store on there. And then, you know, um, your games like GTA 5 or even um, a Doom, which has a massive game. Uh, you store on your 2 terabyte, your photos, your videos, your music. That's where you store your, on your 2 terabyte. On your SSD, you have stuff that uh, is really resource-intensive and needs to be hold fast. On my old hard drive, which was some weird Hitachi one that I got with a pre-built computer, it took like a minute to boot up my computer. So like if I was gaming on StarCraft or uh, Heroes of Storm and I needed to quickly uh, reboot because for some reason my computer driver crashed, it would take forever to boot up. But on this SSD, it takes seconds, and the better the SSD, the faster the boot. Based on your motherboard, because sometimes motherboards can inhibit that. But normally, it's super fast to boot. Again, this SSD that I just had, the Ahsoka Power, boots up immensely fast. And here are its read and writes. And those are not nearly to spec, but they never are. And whenever someone says, Oh, it transfers at 2 gigabits per second. That normally is theoretical transfer speeds. Um, those are in the optimal environments, whereas the transfer speeds in reality are a lot slower, but they're still astronomically better than your typical hard drive. The, this is still astronomically better, and I only paid 30 bucks for it, or even 45 and it has increased my workflow immensely. And like when you have to print up a paper for a college professor or something and you gotta go quickly, then boot up is immediate and um, you're, you can access and uh, Windows is usable immediately. Whereas with a hard drive, it can take upwards to a few minutes before, especially older hard drives, it's even usable. Your, uh, your desktop and all of your apps, just because of how hard drives and um, SSDs work. However, hard drives tend to be more reliable and last a lot longer than SSDs. Hard drives have theoretically an infinite number of read and writes, uh, or yeah, theoretically, 
SSDs have a very numbered amount of writes because an SSD, that's just how it works. And that's how it transfers and stores data. Infinite amount of read, not infinite amount of write. Anyways, I can highly recommend this SSD for anyone who's looking to try out SSDs and don't really know um, if that's what they want or they don't really have a lot of money or they don't really want to spend a lot of money yet. I can highly recommend this SSD or anything really in the $60 range from a name brand. But Silicon Power was just a non-name brand to me and I want to try it out and I can full heartedly recommend this product from Silicon Power and probably any other of their products since they seem to be pretty reliable based on my research. Anyways, thank you for joining me. This is PG Tech, signing out.